ignore. Is not this a task for the Silver Circle? There is... Mm, a lack of agreement between the members of the Council, and little respect for the younger members. So they know not what you do? Why should I hide my intentions? Who can stop me? I promise to surrender this post if I fail to destroy the flame and enclave within a certain period of time. If they care only for their position, they will not be content whether you succeed or fail. I always thought that in times of trial and tribulation, I would only have myself to rely upon. I was wrong. Amber risked her career to join me, and there are others who will also join the victor. This sounds like preparations for a revolution. Some things cannot be avoided. Those were your own words, I believe. <laughs> sure. Are you sure? This is more than dangerous. I live with danger. You said you wish to get rid of the flame, is that all? I hope to learn more about that person. But it proves to be almost impossible. If you find Enclave and the Flame, you will know what to do. And the settlement? Where do I look for it? We would have found it if it were on this side of the river. It must be somewhere to the south. The orcs would not leave any humans alive there, necromancers or not. Mayhap they had no choice. I wish you more luck than I have had. Jeez, what about you? My, my, a sight for sore eyes. Tis not long hence since I heard of you, but the rumors, though young, were obviously true. What did you hear of me, pray? A polite warrior who likes to solve problems, no matter how close to death he may come. However, my northern friends found you very helpful. Tis my trade. I work for money, not for gratitude. That is not what I heard. But if you wish to disguise any soft spots in your heart, tis not my affair. Tell me, what brings you here? Curiosity. I always look for employment. It helps me to keep my finger on the pulse of events in the land. So, you are curious, famed with our society, and skilled enough to squirm out from under the weight of the troubles you encounter. How fortunate. You begin to see the light, mistress, huh? Call me Amber. I am personal assistant to Sigius Destrus, the seventh member of the Old Council. Your master seems very preoccupied with his business. He is not my master. Sigius is... exceptional. Even those old geeks from the Council could not block his advance to power. The Society has never known anyone of his age in its highest ranks. When I see you, my lady, he must indeed be special. What work do you carry out for him, pray? Research. Sigius and I follow the ancient legends of the orcs from Gorgamar. We are hoping to find the origins of their belief in Azeral as a savior and messiah. Yay, quests! Did you know that the orcs occupied almost the entire continent during the War of the Gods? Their kingdom stretched to the inner gate in Talmont. Tis hard to imagine. Their belief in Azeral brought them here from the lands far in the south, beyond the Drakkar Desert. Tis fascinating, and despite the absence of Azeral, they live as if he were among them. Does this surprise you? Surprise, fascination, call it what you will. But our work is vital if the Catalonian Kingdom is to survive. Besides, there are not many who wish to know more of the orcs. Aye, people treat them like barbarians. But when you consider their history, tis hard not to, I admit. And how do you treat them? They are warriors, dedicated to their cause and faithful to their leader. There is hardly any difference between our races in that respect. Interesting. I was sure you were one of those brainless lumps of mercenary muscle. But when tested, you ring true. Sigius and I have spent much time in a search for someone like yourself. And then you simply wander in here. Is this a proposal for employment? Or is it simply a compliment, which from your lips is indeed flattering, good lady? I don't have time to flatter. But the task I have in mind will need much skill and alertness. 
Mayhap you have those qualities. No. Speak with Sigius. He As always. You are indeed a professional. E you never had a chance to learn their mythology, did you? There is a surprising depth in it. And that is strange for so primitive a race. Mayhap they repeat what they have heard elsewhere. Nay, their beliefs are truly unique. Orc society actually shows signs of sophistication in many aspects, but their social development has returned to a state of near barbarism. Why is Aziral so important to them? Orcs must have lived south of Jakar, but they emigrated suddenly and followed Azeral up here until they had to bow in defeat before the Alliance. Aye, but before they were beaten, they burned half of the continent. They just listened to their god. If your god appeared before you and told you to go and conquer, what would you do? I do not know, lass. The gods do not speak to me all that often. <laughs> Orcs wage war until they get what they want. Obedience to a dead god? Sigius and I found out that it is desperation. They believe that they are doomed. A bold statement indeed. I know. Tis fact that their beliefs tell them that Azeral is their only way to salvation. Why do they think this? They seem to be no more superstitious than we humans. Have you ever heard of anilibrism? Tis an ancient doctrine, abandoned by most races and civilizations. Orcs follow this religiously and blindly. What is it? Twas a common belief long before the War of the Gods that all the deities were born in a spawning place, sometimes called the birthplace. When a new god is born, he may or may not be given the power to give souls to their creations. Azeral was one of the may nots. That is indeed strange. Indeed, but not so far distant from our own beliefs. If the orcs were created by Azeral, as the legends say, then they have no souls. Good for them. This causes less trouble in life. <laughs> One of the orc myths says sure. that Azeral received a mystical Sorry about the volume there. meditation in the desert. Soon after, the orcs left the south and marched here. Do you know what he saw? Tis a mystery, but we hope to learn it one day. Orc legends tell of a great battle at the end of the world. Warriors from all the generations will stand back to back against the ancients. I do not understand much of this. What does it have to do with Aziral? And who are the ancients? I would I could explain it to you, but we know one thing beyond all doubt. Orcs believe that only those who have souls will take part in this battle. The rest will be rejected and destroyed for eternity. Methinks it still does not make any sense to me. Azeral was born without the power to give souls, but he may be born again. The orcs seek the birthplace of the gods. That was the true reason for the war 300 years ago. Do you believe in these... these legends? The orcs do. According to their myths, they are the only chance this world has to battle evil from outside. Mm, story. chance to serve. Ironic, think you not? Ironic, aye, but dangerous too. It explains why they are all fanatics. Orc prophecies are scarce and tis hard to find written records. But These two. Or later we will know what drives them. We can only hope that Catalan does not fall before we do. It's not particularly pressured. Be caught. Yep, shut up. Go away. Not talking to you two anymore. I got the quest. I'm done. Believe the teleporter for this place is inside the walls. Giant spider monster. Interesting.
Hello, I have a skeleton. Do you have a skeleton? No, you're just a ragdoll. Actually, no. I suppose they do have skeletons. That's how animation works. Where is that teleporter? There's a quest in there. To go to the uh, fort of being besieged for the last 300 years or whatever it is. 20, 40 years. It's it's a long time. It's there's a castle. Where is it? Yeah, Hedeborg Castle. Also say hello to the capital music. Sometimes the horse jumps over things, hey sometimes it does not. Hail stranger. Hail hey. stranger. What do you train? Ah, well met. The streets are dangerous. I can take you. No doubt. No. What do you I can teach you street survival. Go away. Two thirty one. Looking for something. Also, we need to talk to the Archmage! Who's... over the wall somewhere? Oh no, he's in there. Good day. Can I help you? Good idiot. Shut up. Stop being so dang friendly, gosh! Slow down, horse. Welcome try I and well met to you. Pray tell me, are you the mage who made a replica of Anon Moha? And if I am? I have to tell you that neither of them is happy about it. I may have. So he should have given it more thought. No one forced him to do it. Why did you do it in the first place? Why? Because we need good mages here. We had two posts to fill, so instead of taking two lesser talents, we decided to make a replica of Anon. So that he could take up both posts, understand? So why is it not now to his liking? I have no idea, but I will not permit him to kill his replica. To defeat the purpose. Which of them is the replica? I do not know. There was no reason to tell them apart, so I did not bother which went with her. I want them both alive here, and I want that mirror. If you obtain it for me, our two villages will each have a mage. Uh. but we have no idea which one's the real one. Not even the dude that cloned them. <sighs> this is why you don't let mages do cloning. It just doesn't work out. But no one knows who is the real mage. Tis not natural, I grant you that, but tis for the good of all. Aye, but if the mage himself does not like it... Ah, but which one is he? Ah, uh, were that easy, we would build armies from our best warriors. Nay, the process is also very costly, and the preparations take months, even years. Mayhap. Mayhap not, but name me a ruler who would object to two good mages instead of one, huh? He seems very... Uh, nervous and sensitive. 
Aye, but he is a splendid apprentice. He is nervous now because of what he has seen. A normal reaction. Well, that was worthless. Well, I can deliver that thing for the Merchants Association, too. Just gotta figure out how to get up there. Right over here. Horse, I'm telling you to turn, and you don't turn. Explain to me your logic. Ridiculous animal. Grand day. No, it isn't. Oh. This is not the right place. I remember this bit. I have to pick the lock and then get arrested because the door is locked. And the guys inside don't leave. Seems locked. Stand still. Don't yes. move. Hey. Halt. A witness saw you pay 10,000. 10,000. Uh, thirty percent. Right. I gave him thirty percent of ten thousand gold. And now I can actually do that stupid quest. Welcome to the merchant's associate. I shall. You are not the one I need to talk to. You are. I. Ye gods! I thought it would never arrive. You must be that mercenary of whom they spoke. Who spoke of me? Why do you ask this? I do not understand. Teller Ravenard himself asked me to keep an eye on you. You, barely a member of the association. Can you explain why you are of such great import to him? Talo Ravenard? I, the head. The leader! The one! Is this so unusual? Aye. It has never happened in all my years here. Aye, whatever you say, friend. However, I just want my money. Then you will see me no more. Wait! I may need you soon. And if I refuse? I prithee, do not refuse. I have my orders. I must find someone both trustworthy and courageous. You seem to have half of those qualities. <laughs> oh, aye. And which half, pray? Courage. But our trust? That you have to earn. Hmm. <laughs> and your unpopularity with the common people surprises you? Ha! <laughs> he insults me. Do you not need this money? Trust me. If you come to an arrangement with the Merchants Association, it is the best. If you prove your worth, of course. Whoop de freaking do. Did I level up again? I did. Whatever. Oh wait. 